Welcome along to another video presentation from the Computer Information Agency. My name is Robert Crane and in this video we'll have a look at setting alerts in SharePoint 2010. Okay, so what I have here is my SharePoint 2010 site. In this case I'm using a site from um, the Enterprise version of Office 365 but what I'll show you here will work with um, SharePoint on-premises as well as um, SharePoint Foundation um, as well the, the free version that comes on things like SPS. So again we can normally set an alert on most elements in SharePoint so here we are in our document library and I go up to the library option up the top here and this will expose the ribbon and from the ribbon you can see that we have a button here called alert me. So all I need to do to set up an alert is simply click on that and then select the option to set an alert on this library. So this will pop up a window that will give us a number of options. So again, it will let us know what we want to call this uh, alert title. By default, we use the name of the element that we're in in SharePoint. Um, we're sending the alert just to ourselves, uh, who we're logged in as. Um, you'll notice that at this stage, the only option that we've got um, here is to send it via uh, an email. And I have uh, the option here now that when anything changes or in new items or existing items, I'm going to leave this set to when there is any change. Uh, then I can choose, uh, you know, to when an alert happens. So when anything changes or when somebody work, interacts with a document, um, then I can get an alert. And finally, I can select when the alerts are sent. So I can get it sent immediately. I can get a summary. Um, and I can get a, a weekly summary as well. So if I go to daily, you'll see that the time lights up allows me to choose what time the alert is sent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that set to uh, immediately. I'm now going to go OK to set that alert. So that is now enabled on our library. Uh, if we go back to the alert button and pull this down, you'll see there's an option underneath the one I just selected called Manage My Alerts. So if I have a look at that, you can see that I currently have the one alert set on my shared documents. I can obviously select that and delete that if I wanted to. Um, I can also add a new alert. So again, if I click on the add a new alert, um, it'll then take me to a more interactive way um, and I'll have to choose which option that I want to set the alert. But again, that's another way of doing it. And if I want to see the settings for the alert that I made, I can simply click on that alert and that will take me back to what I just configured and you'll notice that I can delete that if I want. I'm going to cancel that. Now when I do set up an alert what it will do is it will obviously send me an email. So if I swap across here to my uh, emails you'll notice that I have received a notification already that I have successfully created an alert for the shared document. So this indicates to me that the alerts are up and working because I have received an email letting me know that uh, they're all good to go. So if I go back to my document library and for example I select uh, this document here so I just click on this, um, go to my documents in menu up the top and I delete that document. So I'm going to delete that, send that back to the uh, recycle bin. So what should happen now is that there has been a change on the document library. I should receive an alert um, in my emails letting me know that that change has taken place. So let me just swap over there and we'll just wait a sec for that email to appear. Okay, so after a, um, a short period of time you'll see that I receive an alert uh, here. This shared documents uh, indicates here what I've just done. So I've got an alert indicating that the file has just been deleted. So be aware that the alerts are not immediate. They actually run on timer jobs so they might take uh, a couple of minutes to actually come through depending on your SharePoint environment. But when you set it up um, any change to the library, in this case a deleted document, I receive an email notification that that has transpired. Now if I go back to uh, my library again what I can do here is, for example, I can set up the alert on the whole library. So this is a change to anything in the library. But if I pull, if I hover over um, an individual document, um, you'll see that I have the ability to select a menu here, and in that menu is the option to um, alert me. So again, in this case, the alert will simply be on this document. So again, similar sort of options: who I am where the alerts are going, whether anything changes, and how to send uh, a notification immediately. Um, again, if I set this 
I'll find now that if I go in and manage my alerts, so look at my alerts, you'll see that I have a an alert set up for the whole document library and I have an alert set up just for that individual document. So um, basically what we can do here is easily set up uh, email notification of any change into uh, an element within SharePoint. You can do this basically by uh, navigating to the Alert Me button in the Library tab or you can pull down the menu for the individual item and select the Alert Me option. As I mentioned these options, uh, these alerting options are available in all the common SharePoint uh, elements. So again for example if we go into the calendar uh, I go into the calendar option here and you'll see again I've got the option to send me send myself an email alert based on any changes to this calendar item. So again very handy item, very easy thing to set up in SharePoint if you want to be notified when there are changes made to specific areas. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Just to let you know that CIOps has a number of free and paid publications. You can download these from www.ciops.com forward slash downloads. If you have any comment or feedback on this video, please send it to me via director at ciaops.com. Otherwise, keep up to date with what's happening at the CIAOps by the blog supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog